If I turn this induction stove on and I place my hand on it, nothing will happen. Now, if I replace my hand with a pan full of butter, it'll heat up almost immediately. To understand why I didn't get a second degree burn, we have to dig into the science. An induction burner is made up of an electromagnetic coil covered by a ceramic plate. When you turn it on, an electric current runs through the coil to create a magnetic field. Note that none of this is actually creating any heat. For that, you'll need a pan. Once a pan comes in contact with the cooktop, the magnetic field interacts with the metal to generate a flurry of small electric currents within the pan. And since iron and stainless steel are pretty bad at conducting that electricity, it's quickly converted to heat. And that's why induction cooktops are so safe. The heat is generated within the pan, not below it. It would also explain why this magazine hasn't yet burned. Now, if we remove the pot and the magazine, you'll have to be careful because the ceramic plating on top of the cooktop will be warm. And don't try this at home, just in case. Safety is just one benefit. Induction cooktops use less energy than electric stoves, which can save you money. They can also heat things very quickly. And finally, a huge plus for busy cooks, they're super easy to clean. There are a few reasons why you might think twice before getting an induction stovetop. The biggest problem is that they only work with stainless steel or iron pots and pans. And here's the thing, not all items that are marked as stainless steel are truly stainless steel. So here's a little trick. Grab a magnet. You'll know a pan is compatible if the magnet sticks. If it doesn't, that pan will never get hot. And finally, an induction stove will never heat the sides of your pan the way a gas burner can. So cooking certain things might take a little bit longer or just won't produce the same results.